श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ सो वेलकम टू आर नेक्स्ट एपिसोड इन द कंप्लीट रीडिंग ऑफ श्रीमद रामायण सो एस्टडे वी सॉर्ट ऑफ वर गोइंग वेरी वेरी फास्ट एंड ट्राई टू कंप्लीट द एंटायर रामायण बट दैट्स हाउ नारदा टोल्ड दट टू वाल्मीकि सो टुडे वी आर एक्चुअली स्टार्टिंग विथ वाल्मीकि जर्नी in to writing this entire ramayana so in a way all the great commentators consider this as the actual starting of shrimad ramayana okay now narada maharshi told all this narada sid tadvakyam shrutva vakya vishardha poojayamas dharmaatma sahasishyo mahamunihi so valmik maharshi heard all this and then along with all his disciples he did the puja of narada muni narada muni was extremely happy for all the good things or or all the puja and and the way he was received and all the vinaya sampatti that were, that was shown by valmiki maharshi all the good things that were done to him and then he then hugged valmiki maharshi and then he moved away from there he went back to do his triloka sanchara or to or or as he moves across all the three worlds he went back to move across all the three worlds singing the name the divine name of the lord okay now now that narada maharshi has went away okay valmiki maharshi was thinking about ramayana he was thinking about that wonderful story that was just told to him see if you eat a lot of uh, sweet right after some time the sweet stays in your mouth like that ramayana was staying in maharshi valmiki's mouth he was still thinking about it he was practically living through that and while all this was happening the time has come for his madhyanika sandhya madhyanik sandhya is the sandhya vandana or the obeisance that people pay to lord surya during the afternoon this is done thrice in a day in the morning you do prada sandhya in the afternoon you do madhyanik sandhya and in the evening you do sayankara sandhya so it was time for his madhyanik sandhya and as that was happening as the as he he had to go and perform that so he started along with his shishya bharadwaja and both of them were now walking towards their a river called tamasa the the river there was called as tamasa so they both went to the tamasa river and now every day they go the, they go to the same place but today there was something special that was happening in the mind of the guru or valmiki he looked at the water and he says akardama mimam teertham bharadwaja nishamaya ramaniyam prasannambuhu sanmanushya manoyatha now this is a very very interesting shloka my dear friends and why is it so interesting he is saying the water here is pure and clean so the water there was pure and clean every day but the rishi is looking at it today why is he looking at it today he is looking at it today in that way because his mind is filled his heart is filled with lord ramachandra and his story and lord shri rama because he was clean he was very very kind hearted sanmanushya that's the reason why he is not directly talking about ramachandra he is saying sanmanushya mano yatha the way sri ramachandra's heart is or rashi ramachandra's mind is this water is also like that that's how valmiki maharshi is comparing lord sri Ra- uh, even the water with the clean water with sri ramachandra's mind okay akardam imam teertham bharadwaja ramani bharadwaja nishamaya ramaniyam prasannam bahu sanmanushya mano yatha that's how he compared it and now 
Now, while all this was happening, there were two Kraunja Pakshis. Those two, the Kraunja Pakshis are the, the two birds. And these two birds were walking. So one of them is a male bird, one of them is a female bird. And the male bird and the female bird are are moving around each other. Now there, that's how those two birds would be getting ready for a union. And, uh, and they both are now going to get indulged in that act of procreation. Okay. And at the same time, there was another man who came there. These two birds were there and they were they were playing on a branch of a tree and at the same time there was one hunter who came there and he took out one bow i mean he took out one arrow put it on his bow and then killed the male bird okay the the arrow went in pierced the male bird's heart and the male bird fell down and and it's, it's in a pool of blood. So the sloka sira tam soni paritangam veshtamanam mahitale bharyat unhetam drishtva rurava karunam girim vyukta patinatena vijena sacharina tamra sirshena mattena patina sahatena vai tadha tam vijam drishtva nishadena nipatam prushe dharmatanastasya karunyam samapadyata. Okay, now the, the, the female bird has now come down. And it is running around this male bird. The male bird is a is in a pool of blood, and this female bird is crying inconsolably there. Maharshi Valmiki is seeing all this, and and remember, at one point of time, Maharshi Valmiki was also a hunter. Maharshi Valmiki even did robberies, in in but but that was all before he, you know he, before the tra transformation happened to him. So these things should not really impact him a lot. But then today, after listening to Ramakatha. When he just looked at this normal scene of a hunter, see this is a forest. In the forest, there is this hunter who came and who tried to and, and who killed one of the two birds that he saw. And the bird is dead. The other bird is now crying, is running in circles around this around this. Yeah, the scene is really gory, it's really pathetic, it's really tough. But then that this is not something. That was too different for Valmiki Maharshi. While it is gory now, it was it, he would have seen this sort of things a lot. But then today, because Rama is in his heart, all of a sudden a shloka came out of his mouth. So his shok became shlok. His shoka. He was he was sad, and out of which, interestingly, a shloka came out, and that shloka is. Manishada Pratishtam Tomagama Shashwati Samaha Yet Krauncha Mithuna Dekam Abadhihi Kama Mohitam. Now, this is a very, 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 very interesting sloka. And the moment he uttered this sloka, the, the hunter there, he, he almost died. The hunter there, it, it was a shapa for that hunter saying that you will not live for a longer time. The hunter dies. Now, what happened here? What is this sloka? We will see that in our next episode. We will dedicate the entire episode to understand this one sloka. And from there, we will enter into Ramayana or how this one sloka is an Ekishloki Ramayana that we would discuss in our next episode. Jai Shri Ram.